to make push rods and install your servo you're going to need a servo this is a bamboo skewer like you would use to make shish kebabs foam safe CA glue this is a plywood control horn electrical tape a nylon clevis on a threaded rod and a piece of piano wire so first thing we gotta do is install our control horn into our airplane and before we install it we gotta make sure this hole in the control horn is big enough for the nylon clevis to fit into if it isn't big enough just take your exacto knife open up the hole a little bit try again you want it to have you want it to be pretty move pretty freely but you don't want any slop I'm going to install this on the elevator now for your control horn you want the whole of your control horn to be directly above the hinge line so I'm going to make sure it's above the hinge line and then I can set it up like this and press it down really hard and it'll make kind of an imprint in the foam so I just open up a control horn slot and my control horn can slide in hello on the top of my elevator I have a carbon tube so I'm going to have to cut out a little section here so that it'll slide over the carbon tube I, oh, I used a sander and made a little notch in there so it'll clear the carbon tube then control horn can fit in the slot then if you look from here you can see how that the control this hole is right over the hinge line so that looks good then just glue it in with your foam safe CA glue each side like that then put a drop of kicker on each side let that sit for a second to dry while that dries come back over here we take our nylon clevis on our threaded rod cut it off right about here leave like an inch and a half to two inches so we have this left then we're going to use our CA and kicker again and we're going to, I'm going to glue it on about like this and notice how there's a gap there so I can still thread this clevis in so I'm going to put it on like this and I can glue this to my shish kebab stick or bamboo bamboo skewer or you could use a carbon tube that would work better but car but then you're like six bucks a push rod it gets expensive and these bamboo sticks work plenty well and they're plenty strong it's not really a problem there so I to use bamboo sticks works just fine drop on a little kicker I can glue the rest where my fingers were now you can leave this just like it is right here that's just fine although what a lot of people do and what I usually do is put some of a cover on this and you can 
you I see heat shrink shrink tubing just put a piece over there and shrink it around that works well or dry that off it also works just fine to wrap the end in electrical tape this just makes it a little stronger you don't have to do this but I like to and there is our completed push rod end now sometimes I'll paint the push rod so they look a little nicer of course you don't have to do that um, so next step is to take our servo this is an HS55 come back over here I'm going to install it into the elevator slot you want a good snug fit so I installed it in there like this with the wire coming off and it's on the same side as the elevator control horn which is all dry so then we can take our clevis and pop it on the control horn like this we don't have to close it yet and then you're going to want to put the servo arm that you're going to use for the servo on the servo. I got my long control horn for the servo installed. Now we're going to use this thin piano wire. We're going to make a Z bend. So, to make a Z bend, start, go back like a quarter of an inch make a single 90 degree bend like that then hold it this way make a bend opposite that one you want everything to be 90 degrees and there is a Z bend pretty easy to make cut it off like two inches down or so. So we got that Z bend. Then the Z bend, stick it in our servo like this. So then our push rod, we can, I'm going to get a marker or pencil. I don't know if you can see this or not. But I'm going to mark this one about half to a three quarters of an inch from where it hits the control horn so mark it right here and then your push rod is going to come off have to come off and you can see that mark and just cut this off at the mark And then your push rod, take it back in the control horn. And it should, as you can see, come up to about there. Where our Z bend is. So then, we want to use the same process that we used at this end. So, though what I'm going to do here is put a piece of tape on the control surface to keep it level while I make the push rod. Don't need much, just a little piece. I'm just going to stick it on the end there so this doesn't move. It's just the same process that we did up, up there. I'm going to just tack it together with a little strip of CA, put some kicker on it again.
that glued like that. We can take this, cleave this in the back off again. Pull our piece out. So there we have our push rod. It's pretty much complete. Just finish gluing your Z bend to the skewer. Two more drops of kicker to harden it. And then just gonna wipe off the extra kicker. tape it up and there is one completed push rod Z bend bamboo skewer then the nylon clevis now before we stick it in we're going to have to glue this servo in so to do that, I'm just going to put a little CA on these tabs, like this. And I'm going to put a little CA right here. And that's really all you need to hold the servo down. You can use more. But I want to use this servo again in different airplanes, so I'm not putting a lot of glue on it. Just enough to hold it in place, but you can still remove it if the servo gears strip or the servo needs to be replaced if you want to put it in a different airplane or anything like that. So once your servo is glued in, Z-bend, stick it in the servo, nylon clevis. Stick it there and this time you can pop it together. And there is your completed push rod. Now again, you can paint this. I could paint it blue to match the rest of the airframe, paint it silver, whatever. But it should give me nice fluid movement and travel. So then that so that's the end of this video. Everything looks good. Your control surface should center without any sub trim. Then, I guess that's it. So then you just have to do this for your ailerons. And then do it again for your rudder. I have, already have that installed. Then, mount your motor. Everything should be good to go.